Hi, my name is Steve Martelli at freedomeducation.ca and today I want to share with you some really cool discoveries and what I find to be very profound scientific facts surrounding the human heart. Now you may have heard me say this before or hear me or actually read it on my blog where I talk a lot about how it's important to follow what you're passionate about and there's a reason behind that. And I want to share with you these five shocking discoveries that I found just very profound, very important, and if anything will satisfy the left, your left brain that, you know, following your passion is something that you should strongly consider. And there's a lot, of this, th this whole conversation goes way beyond just following your passion. It, it, it explains and identifies why the law of attraction works, um, if any, gives any sort of mystical, you know, illusion that, you know, you create your reality, it gives it some foundation. So here's five scientific discoveries that I thought were completely shocking and that I learned from uh, watching the movie I Am. If you've ever watched it, it's a really good documentary and I highly recommend you check it out. It turns out is that our human heart communicates to the brain and the heart actually has neurons, which at one point in time, we're only known to be in the brain, are actually in the heart. But the thing is, is that I believe the, the reason that discovery became so, it's so profound is because for years and years and years, researchers were always measuring the information being sent from the brain to the heart, but they never thought of measuring it the other way around. So what it turns out is that the information being sent from the heart to the brain is way more more expansive than the information being sent from the brain to the heart. So that's the first one. And what's really interesting is that you can actually measure my heart detecting your brain and vice versa. Very cool. Here's the second discovery. That emotions are what modulate the heart signal. Isn't that cool? So that when the heart beats, it generates a magnetic field. And I'm not talking about an aura or a spiritual, you know, feeling or some sort of something that you see. I'm talking about a magnetic field, something you can measure with instruments, scientific instruments. And it's generated by your heart signal. But what's interesting is that it's the emotions that modulate that heart signal, which changes that magnetic field. Very cool. Number three, if the heart sends a distressful signal, then what happens is we can't think clearly. It actually inhibits clear thinking. So think of someone who's really angry or pissed off. Guess what happens? It Their heart signal inhibits their thinking. And what actually happens is the more emotional or the more angered you become, the more intelligence goes down. That's something really interesting to note, but it's also very true. You might have noticed your own experience that the more angry you got, the more emotional you got, the more reactive you got, but the less intelligent you got, the less you were able to actually think clearly. And that's what happens. So we actually function in a better state of empathy and love. That's our optimal state. And that's the most creative state we can be in. So if we're in empathy and love, then all of a sudden, boom, you, you've got great clear thinking. So something to, th something to, something to ponder, so just kind of notice. Number four, your heart can predict the future. I thought this one to be the most cool, and I'll tell you why. There was a study, and it was actually done in the movie I Am as well, where they took uh, a subject, and they got them to watch some screenshots. And during those screenshots, they would show like, you know, death, like someone, just a flash of image on the screen that they were watching, that the subject was watching, of a person that had been dead, or like a haunted house, or something scary. And what happened, is that the heart and the body responded three to five seconds before that image actually came on the screen. So what this does is it it's starting to shed the light and, and, and actually prove that intuitive factors such as you being able to predict the future with your heart is something that can be measured. That's a very powerful thing. And it also states, states something about how you know our intuitive nature is helping us predict the future on a moment to moment basis. And if you ask any successful entrepreneur, and one of the most sex successful that I've read about is Richard Branson, he'll tell you that, you know, uh, within 
a few seconds of shaking a hand with another partner where he's going to make a new deal, he either gets a really good feeling or he gets a bad vibe. And within that three to five seconds, he knows if the deal's going to be good or not. And in most cases, he says he's right. And he says he bases a lot of his success on his intuition. Number five, this is the theory of non-locality. And I didn't quite understand it for the longest time. But what it basically says is that there's an energetic field everywhere and we're influencing it non-locally and with oh, any time or distance. So what that means is we're influencing something that's happening on the other side of the world, that's happening in another city right now based on what we're doing right at this moment in time. There's actually an experiment in the movie of I Am where the, the director who's being tested has these electrodes on him and they're asking him provocative thoughts. They're asking, you know, he has a bad relationship with his lawyer. And they said, well, how's your lawyer doing? And what happened is he immediately responds with this strong emotion. Well, it turns out that the non-living organism in front of him, which was just some yogurt, is, has electrodes in it as well. And those electrodes were tied to a meter. And any time they would ask the director a specific question that is, evoked strong emotions, the yogurt was responding to his feelings and thoughts. So this is scientific evidence that the theory of non-locality, meaning your feelings are influencing the living organisms around you, is actually true. It's so powerful, you've gotta see it to really believe it, but what this tells us is that, and I found this one to be the most profound, is that this discovery tells us that living organisms are actually responding to our feelings in our immediate environment. And I would even go to say beyond our current immediate environment and beyond that, maybe in other cities and other places around the world, just on the base on the way we feel. So it gives really, really, really strong evidence of how a law of attraction actually influences the things in our environment, in our world. So just leave a note below, leave a comment below. Let me know which one did you find out of the five discoveries was the most profound and which one is the one that when you heard it, you were like, Damn, that's the one. It was really resonated with, really connected with you, and you got an aha from it. Just let me know in the comments below. If you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my email newsletter. Thanks for listening and watching, and I'll talk to you soon.